Welcome to Awakening Heart Network. My name is Toria Vallis, and it's a distinct honor and pleasure to join in conversation with our amazing guest tonight. We are going to be having an incredible call for the fabulous Aurora Ariel is joining us in conversation tonight. Before we bring Aurora on, we want to bring everyone's attention, energy, minds, and hearts to the Awakening Heart Global Healing Circle. And together within this call, within the space of this call, we're together in a wonderful, loving community, a community that upholds the, the, the dignity of humanity, the capacity, the probabilities of the highest light outcomes. Together, we amplify not only our energy and our truth, but higher probabilities to happen so that as we bring our dreams together, as we bring the problems of the day, the worries, the stressors, our prayers for our loved ones and ourselves. And we bring some alternate outcomes, the outcomes that we know are possible, the outcomes that we know want to happen. We allow for all this energy which is being channeled through this call, especially with Aurora joining us, <laughs> it's just an amazing amount of energy you know, coming through the call together. And we open. We open our hearts to receive. We open our mind, body, spirits. We open our world to receive all of the energy that is flowing back out from the global healing circle to enrich and enliven, to uphold and to activate new realities, to activate new possibilities, to activate the dreams that we have chosen, the highest probabilities for our children and our families, for our loved ones. And we create together through the purest intentions of the highest realities that we know are possible so that we can bring a new reality to this planet. And so I'm grateful to everyone who's on the call today, everyone who's bringing their energy. And we are sending out so much energy on this call today and everyone, you know, just open to feeling it because it's going to be a transformative call. It already is transformative. And with that mind, with that in mind, I want to thank you all for joining us today. And let us bring on our amazing, amazing guest, Aurora Ariel. I just want to make a brief introduction for her today. Aurora was awakened in her teens to a planetary conscious that inspired her mission and dedicated her life to the healing and advancement of humanity. At that young age, she received an extraordinary divine sponsorship that helped her guide her destiny, giving her a vast body of knowledge, deep understanding of global conditions, their underlying causes and remedies, and an exceptional healing ability that has resulted in countless transformed lives since she was 16. Whether it's pioneering work in the psyche, healing, heading her global healing ministry, bringing out her landmark discoveries in global conferences, writing books, leading the quest and other trainings, or expressing her musical talents, Aurora Juliana Ariel possesses a proverbial Midas touch. Her brand of alchemy is the sacred sort, yielding a gold one can only discover within. Pioneering doctor and scientist, author and musician, entrepreneur and producer, mystic and healer, Aurora is a renaissance woman for the new millennium. Aurora is a pioneering doctor whose research and work have given her a profound understanding of the psyche and the tools to heal an ailing humanity. She has successfully healed conditions once thought incurable, irreversible, or unchangeable, releasing countless individuals from life sentences of suffering. Aurora holds over 38 certificates and degrees in advanced healing methods, as well as a 3A, MA, and PhD in psychology. Dr. Ariel is also a kahuna in the Hawaiian tradition and successor of Hawaiian kahuna Shaolin Grandmaster Pang in the, in, in the Morna Simeona lineage. Welcome to the call, Dr. Aurora Ariel. Thank you so much, Rhea. I am so grateful to be here, and I am acknowledging an amazing release of light and healing. So all of us coming together today with our open hearts as vessels and with our prayerful intentions for ourselves, our family, and all humanity, great and glorious blessings and healings can take place. So I'm I'm grateful you've created this forum for all of us. So all of this mm. can take place today. Oh, thank you so much for joining us, Aurora. And you are so, 
so special in your work. And everyone listening, the energy has been amping for hours. I could feel the energy amping before we came to this call. I was like, this is amazing. I want to let everyone know I see you out there. I see all the people on the webcast, and I see everyone. If you have a question for Aurora, please push star two. Just raise your hand, and you will have an opportunity to speak with her. And also, please, everyone on the webcast, don't be shy. Send in your questions, and if you're feeling something, let us know, and uh, we'll read them, and we'll all be together in this. This is an amazing opportunity for us to join with Aurora right now. Um, you know, I think this is just the most opportunity, the most amazing opportunity, and I want to understand more about, can you please talk about how people are going to be able to prepare for the coming times, because we're in one particular set of experiences right now, and a lot of times everyone can't really see what's coming. So how can they prepare for it? Because I think being prepared will help us all. Yes, I think it's the understanding of the times which can give everyone a sense of peace within them. On one hand, we see all the dark and dire potentials unfolding before our eyes and being paraded through the media. At the other, on the other hand, there's an incredible glorious awakening taking place, a move from unconsciousness and living out of the human-driven patterns, mentality, belief systems that have been going on for ages and ages on Earth into a more conscious, loving reality. And because of that, we're seeing a lot of beneficent programs, people investing in glo their global vision, and just masses and masses of individuals working for positive planetary change. The most important thing is to understand that if you have a vision encoded in your heart of a transformed world, you are very definitely one of the ones that came here solely to help fulfill that mission. And we are many, and we are throughout the planet, born into every country and every background. And knowing we're all here together doing this, is a glorious thing and then also understanding we took on the patterns of our family lineage for the express purpose to not just play it all out mindlessly and get wrecked and ruined from it but to really heal it for the last time so we can move the planet into a more glorious era hmm oh my god thank you for saying that <laughs> that's huge because i think that that's a core of a lot that's what people are facing today. Um, you've written extensively about the future in your Earth 2012 to 2033 books, but what exactly do you see for humanity? Well, I'm so excited you're asking that because early on in my teens, I was awakened and I ha was shown many vis uh, visions about the dark potentials and the way the planet was fast hurling to destruction and the unconsciousness of the humanity I'd been born into. And I also saw this other pathway, a pathway of light. Of and, and one of the visions, it was this very dark planet and pinpoints of light beginning to appear and then those forming into circles of light and then the, those circles filling in to become patches of light until the planet was filled with light. And I... And I understood that many of us had come. I saw that very early on when I had a complete remembrance of right before this life and that we were all preparing and we were excited and that we were facing immense challenges, but the fact that we'd all be here together and that we'd be linking up and finding each other would be our, you know, our healing salve, our saving grace. And that each year we'd be ascending, and I didn't even know what that meant at 19 when I was being shown it, but it was that we would be ascending out of the human consciousness and to rise into, that, into our glorious true nature, our divine natures, and we'd be doing it all together. And being with that happening, we'd be birthing a whole different future. We'd be literally through our transfiguration, changing the very molecular structure of our world and healing and resolving some of these age-old issues that would have perpetuated more and more disasters on Earth, moving and literally turning our planet into a new direction, bringing it to a higher frequency, a higher, more loving state. And so that's what we've been about. 
And all those early visions have come true. I'm seeing it with my own eyes. And that's what I'm excited to share in my books and and in the Journey into the Future audio CD is to help everyone see what I'm seeing, that we're in the glorious times. And yes, there's still dangers and things taking place on Earth, but there's this glorious future unfolding. And per a beautiful, divinely commissioned experience in 2012, I was actually able to go into the future under hypnosis and see for myself what was the highest probability at that time and what did the future look like. And I hope everyone will avail themselves of that experience because it it was an, a glorious testimony to everything I've seen and the potential I've seen, and yet it gave me a very real experience of it. And as I've held things throughout the planet and shared this and people have listened to that hypnosis journey, it's it's been astounding to see that transference as eyes light up and faces start glowing and everyone just is like, yes, you know, we are making a big difference on Earth. We are doing a good job and we are changing the future. Mm. I, I love what you're talking about and I have two questions out of that last amazing answer that you gave us you talked about the highest probability can you explain to everyone listening what is the process of activating that highest probability the best way that we can have the highest outcome in our own life to fulfill a higher destiny potential and then have that collectively you know, for our planet is to be in our authentic selves. So it is really a return to that Edenic consciousness, that immortal, eternal spirit that we each are, and that is an indwelling spirit within us. Uh, And so to do this, we need to really clear the patterns, the beliefs, the human programming that has beset our family lines forever and encoded humanity so that everyone on earth has up until now been pretty much living the fate dictated by the human programs instead of being able to actualize the higher potential of their soul. So in my own life, in my own wrestling with patterns and finding my way out of the maze and then helping countless others, I've seen that as you do the inner work, as you heal these uh, what's called inner aspects or subconscious personality, parts of us that are younger parts of us that have are encoded with the programming, that have been hurt, wounded, have limiting beliefs, uh, have lost trust in life and faith in ourselves, or even the ability to see ourselves. And it, all this stuff needs to be cleared away because it's covering over the truth of who we are. It's not letting us see ourselves or others or life clearly from that higher vantage point of our divine nature. So it really behooves us all, those of us who really want to fulfill our highest destiny and actualize our greatest potential, to clear the way as things arise and to do it quickly as I train my students so that we are continually on a fast-moving, soul-accelerating, self-actualizing destiny path. In that way, in every session and every clearing, we're clearing the way for ourselves, our family, and all humanity. Wow. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, and also, I want to let everyone know, um, before I go on, I'm going to ask one more question, and I see the hands raised, but I want to encourage all the people that I'm seeing, just go ahead and raise your hand, star two if you want to talk to Aurora, and again, please send your messages in, because I'm going to pick you, I'm going to start in just a moment, but Aurora, also, uh, can we mention the special treat at the end of the call today, Aurora's going to do an activation, and so there's just a little preparation you might want to have in mind while you're being with and allowing everything that's going on in this conversation to come into you, to allow it in. Aurora, can you tell them how to prepare for the very end? Yes. We're going to have a divine healing transmission straight from the divine realms of light. Uh, My divine sponsors and a host of divine ones that are already doing a lot of healing for us all, lifting the burdens and cares off us, helping restore us. 
So this equation very much is how much your soul can allow to be healed, how much you're ready to release and let go, and it's really under the direction of your divine self. So open your hearts, minds, and souls to this healing, to the divine benevolent energies that are flowing forth right now, because miracles can truly happen. And you can prepare by setting prayerful intentions, lighting a candle, writing out your prayer of what you would like to release, what you'd like to have changed in your life, what's really your heartfelt intentions. And all can be done, you know, as is under the divine plan, the divine plan for each of us. Mm, Thank you so much. So everyone, um, be prepared. We're going to be doing an incredible activation at the end of the call. And right now, we're going to start and we're going to take a caller. Let's see. Uh, One second here. Hello from New York. You're on. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Randy. Hi, Randy. Thank now, you for calling. I have been through so much, and I think it's best if you just look rather than me give you a story. Um, yes, I can what? see it and feel it. Uh, but why don't you share just a little bit for the audience, Randy? I I just see a real broken heart, and uh, I have so much compassion for you right now, just feeling what you've been through. Well, uh, uh, I gave my ex-wife the GTFO based on uh, um, psychotropic um medication and stuff like that and I'm still settling into rearranging myself after so many years of doing the right thing to take care and it's just not ending up in a uh in a, in a in a viable and then and then you know I was minding my own business. I was the best limo guy around. Always fifteen minutes ahead of time with the suit and looking to the top of the industry. And then I'm coming home from the diner one night and this drunk cracker runs in front of my car and plants his face in my windshield. A completely unavoidable circumstance. I mean, you asked. It, 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 it's kind of, it's as as a soul, I get it. Always an opportunity, never a problem. As the body, the mind, the ego, and emotions, it's a problem. So, you know, I, I've been working on feeling my heart, but there's other stuff too. You know, uh, I think it's saint training. What What are you wrestling with right now? What What's the dilemma, your soul dilemma, would you say? Um, I'm getting back out to be, to feel like going out and being able and, and fit, where I, I, I've got limited mobility and, 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 and I'm just trying to, just trying to, move forward with grace and ease and I know it's it's right there but um uh, density of this 3D reality is holding me down. Yeah, it's parts of you who are reacting to what's occurred and what's happening emotionally, creating the burden, the sense of constriction and then you have a lot of constriction in your life now, physically all of these things are the causal levels are in the unconscious, these parts of self I began to mention in the call. You've got a lot of them holding your present situation, dilemma in place. And right now a lot of them are getting healed. The thing is, is that when we face adversities in life and things happen and we, we're literally drawing in, these different experiences because we're all in unique soul learning modules and so there's just certain things that we go through, adversities, challenges, all kinds of things and so we're learning and growing through it. At the same time, one of the most exciting discoveries I made was that the cause of these outer circumstances and the suffering and misery we endure is really coming from these 
parts of us, the subconscious parts of us that are holding certain beliefs, took on certain momentums and patterns, and they're getting played out in real time. So it's like they're getting projected out on the screen of life, and then they start rolling. So the very most important thing for all of us is to gain that maturity in this time of a level of mastery in our lives, of dealing in a very clear and focused way with our life challenges. That when issues arise, like the emotions within us, and constrictions and challenges arise, to be turning within and seeing, okay, where in me, what parts of me are responding to that life experience and are upset? Let me bring healing and loving to that part of me because it's a younger part of me. It's almost like a dear friend coming or a young child crying to us. You know, we've been so taught and programmed and reinforced to ignore all that and spiritually bypass or mentally bypass or want to push those feelings and those parts of us away. We don't want to feel hate. We don't want to feel anger and rage, and we've been taught it strong and bad. So it's been a dilemma to address a very important part of us with all of that going on. But it's really essential because the way out of every challenge is really healing these underlying causes and really getting to the heart of it within ourselves and healing these aspects. Right now you've got 23 subconscious aspects that are pointing right now to things in early childhood, beliefs you took on and about yourself, um, limiting your capacity to fulfill higher potential or destiny, keeping you limited in certain ways, sometimes financially, sometimes other ways, and also different life experiences you have, like trying to make sense of it. And I can see that you've delved deeper, you've sought the truth and defined you know, a way out, and I'm so glad you're on the call today because, you know, in thousands of cases, 100% of the time I found that all the ills we're going through is coming from within, and, and I found a way to localize or focus in on the parts that are in charge and to heal them really fast, and that's the quest and the quest work. And I've given that to humanity, so uh, anyone can do it, a seven-step process. But today you're just getting these 23 healed. So it's uh, hopefully you'll be feeling relief in the next weeks as these integrate, and they'll be operating more on your uh, on the authentic self side. So they will not be creating more more of the havoc of this particular piece that's getting cleaned up right now. Uh, like divine love and infinite gratitude and all that that actually means. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. And let us know how you feel and, and how everything turns out. Please keep in contact. It's they, You know, as a soul, somehow it's an opportunity. I, I've just been going through so much. Yeah. Mm. I can feel that. But a lot's getting lifted right now. The heavy weights, dark substances the underlying aspects holding everything in place, the constraints lifting. Uh, There's a lot of light coming in, um, uh, helping actually with your brain chemistry, your pineal. That's going to help you um, see things from a clearer, higher vantage point and be able to access more of your divine nature, higher self-awareness. So I I think uh, a lot of blessings flowing to you right now, and that's going to be continuing for you. And and for everybody else listening and who will be tuning in in the replays as well. Mm, thank you so much. Awesome. Yeah, thank you so much, Randy. Mm. And again, I want everyone who's listening to remember it's just that the blessings are heading out to you too. So when Aurora is talking to someone or we're, she's working on an email request that's come from someone, the energy is also going to you. So just stay open and allow the energy. It's coming. No matter what, it's coming to you. It's happening right now, even as we're speaking. So please let us know what you're experiencing and what you're feeling. We're going to take another question. we got a bunch of hands to raise right now. So we're going to go on to Canada. Let's see. One second. British Columbia. Hello. Vancouver. Hi. Hi there. 
Can you hear Aloha. me okay? Yeah, Hi. Who's this? This is Dada calling. Hello, Dada. Dada, uh, just a little bit of feedback. Let's see. Oh, I'll fix it. Give me one second, please. Thank you. Is this better? Yeah, that is better. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Beautiful call. Thanks for taking my call as well. Laura, I would like to ask if you can tell me if I have any blockages from for moving forward, whether from past lives or this life. I'm seeing something around your throat chakra and self-expression. There's um, some trust issues in your heart. And let me look a little deeper. Trust in yourself, faith in yourself. Have you had a hard time sometimes with the feedback you feel you've received or things that have been told to you maybe early childhood? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, that created a block. And um, there's about 13 subconscious parts of you that are like younger and little girl ones, really precious. Yeah, you were... What a precious little girl. Uh, we, You know, again, we were born into a pretty unconscious humanity with everybody just mindlessly playing out these patterns. And, and so a lot of us just got really wounded and unharmed. And a lot of these things have been very subtle and below our conscious awareness. And it's exciting now that we can actually address these parts of us and bring them conscious, like your beautiful little aspects. And since I've worked with thousands and thousands of them over so many years, they just pretty much give me their story, and it's easy uh, to work with them. Right now, um, you have a deep longing for... I'm just getting the drift of it. It's about the future and love, to be really loved, to be really seen, to be believed in, to be known, to be um, to even in, to experience yourself in that greater fullness of who you are mm -hmm. and to be understood, to be understood, to be seen. And these parts, because you're ready for that, and that is your heart's longing. These parts are ready to be healed today. So they're wow. mature. Yeah, they're starting to mature. So tune in and see if you can feel this light of healing right now. It's actually linking up with a lot of people similar. You see in that strata of the unconscious, all these aspects are linked up globally because we all have the same stuff. I mean, we all had different woundings from different scenarios and yet we all have when you get down to the core of it it's I don't matter I'm not important I'm not lovable I'm not deserving of love I'm not worthy so or I'm bad so uh, if there's a link up right now with similar and, and so many of you could be feeling this right now and actually it's going into future times so that for everyone in the replays it's really linking up on that unconscious strata so many of us that were wounded in that way and it skewed our ability to perceive ourselves accurately and thus we kind of had a chip on our shoulder or felt limited or less than and then that's been replayed for us with people telling us, you know, judging us or not believing in us or not really seeing us or not, you know, not listening and really hearing us. Um, it's really glorious, the future you're stepping into. It's so light-filled. I want you to have a lot of faith and trust in it because I, I can see you've been doing a lot of work and inner work and that you care and you care to actualize your greater potential. And you have beautiful divine sponsors with you, helping you. And right now I'm seeing everybody's sponsors now. They're all like, yeah, everyone is us have amazing divine sponsors right there to assist us at every turn. Okay, now all your aspects are getting healed. They're growing up. So you see these little girl parts and they're just getting mature, growing up, ready to just fully be 
the glorious self that you are. They're all ready to be bring out greater talents, abilities. Um, do you have musical inclinations at all? I like music. I don't necessarily play. I used to sing when I was a child. Well, some more of that's coming out. So you might be singing in the shower a little bit more as these integrate. And it, they usually, when we're working on such a deep unconscious level, it takes some weeks, you know, sometimes for it to integrate, especially when you have a lot of them healed at once. So this is going to be a steady integration that kind of gives you a sense of more wind in your sails to bring you into that glorious future that's right before you now. And, yeah, these things needed to graduate for you to reach the next level. And I find that all the time in my life and clients and students. When we're ready to go to the next level, there will always be uh, parts of us that come up, and they might feel sabotaging or blocking or holding us back. It's not meant to hold us back. It's meant for us to pay attention and heal them and clear the way so that we can reach that next level. And that's going to happen this life because we came in, we took on these patterns, and to actualize the potential that is that fire in our hearts to to really completely embody, we are going to be doing a lot of clearing the way of these things. So don't be daunted by it. I give that really easy seven-step process with a quest, and there's tons of other modalities right now just make it all easy for us and it's it is really a simple process of you feel the block you feel constrained you take a look at to see what part of you or parts of you are are doing that and then you lovingly embrace them and you can take them to the seven steps to a complete healing and transformation of course we just did it in minutes today and it'll take a little longer for you guys to do it but it's a very fun process and you know, the depth and breadth of it gives you so many answers and help you understand the whys and wherefores of things you've gone through and what you've taken on and why you feel blocked or limited. And, and then as they all get transformed, you just feel this incredible upliftment and freedom. And it is awesome to free ourselves, you know, increment by increment. Mm, it feels beautiful. So lots of tension in my throat and in my chest. Yeah, yeah, because the heart really needed the healing. So now there's a beautiful oh. rose light from Mother Mary coming in and coming into your heart, through your crown, into your heart area. And everybody who wants to receive that light of love right now from Mother Mary, just open up your hearts and ask. Yeah, it's really beautiful to see the healing going on right now. And uh, good job, everybody. Wow, a lot of people opened up for this. Very strong, Aurora. Would, would you be able to tell me if this has anything to do with me looking for work as well? Is that connected, perhaps? Sorry, can, can you say uh, would that? You be, would, you, would you be able to say if this has anything to do with me looking for work? Is that connected in any way? Well, the one thing I see is a really glorious future, right, really close to you. This healing today was really important, and also for you to believe in yourself absolutely. I would give prayerful intentions to be a vessel uh, of the divine and to be your full potential self. And when we do that, when we really focus on actualizing our greater potential, being the truth of who we are, then all things come into place. Because it really is our divine selves, our true authentic nature. Sorry, that's a lot of noise in the background. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you're not muted. <laughs> but but when, we, when we have that as the focal point of our life, to fulfill our highest destiny, to realize our greater potential, to be the truth of who we are, well, that's what opens all the doorways. And then when we couple that with clearing the way of doing this inner work, it's a magical alchemical formula that can help us be actualizing 
our greater and greater potential. As for specifics on career and not being shown that, I'm just seeing you moving very fast to a very light-filled uh, reality and illuminated place, mm -hmm. a bright future. What I'm working on currently is choosing with my heart instead of with my, my brain, because that was my past. And I'm having little um, difficulties doing that, because I usually decide with my mind, with my um, uh, brain, and now turning into heart and listening to the heart, it's a little bit, little bit of a learning for me. That's what's happening as well. Yeah, I think that's why you got so much healing today around your heart, because I think there were blockages there, and it made you compensate by just kind of leaning on the mental. It's mm -hmm. nice that we're balanced mind and heart, you know, because our mind has a lot of access to our higher awareness and to our um, conscious self that can be very practical and grounded, and then with our heart, you know, following our heart and giving ourselves the best life and really loving ourselves, we're really able to love others and and live that love. So I, I can see you're moving more into that, and I see greater balance for you from this session, from this healing today. Thank you so mm -hmm. much, Aurora. Beautiful work. Thank you both very much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for calling. Stay in touch. Okay. We're going to take a couple of emails. We've got a bunch of emails coming in here. Aurora, every time I get happy, I seem to find situations to shut myself down and sabotage. I would love to end this pattern and move to a place of balance once and for all. Amy. Yeah, Amy, that pattern is in your unconscious, and it is afraid. Uh, it's actually afraid of life being good because it, it looks like there was disappointments early on and maybe even beyond that, past life stuff, where you're in the glorious life and then something happens, something bad happens, and you lost the trust and faith, and then there were beliefs that formed around that about uh, can't trust life, can't trust God, and that you probably don't think that consciously, but unconscious, these parts are lost faith and trust in life and that life can be good. And so there's a lot of fear and there's a lot of uh, uncertainty and comfortability, actually, of being on a planet like this because there is, it is fraught with a lot of things all the time. And that little girl really got shook up. Don't worry, everything I'm mentioning is getting healed, so I'm not going to leave you with this pile. It's all coming conscious right now for you to heal. Yeah, this is a really big one. In fact, everybody listening or a lot of people listening have pieces of this. You know, we did come into a scary world, and our parents played out their unconscious patterns, and then some of us got spanked, some of us got beaten, some of us were screamed at and told horrible things. You know, we've had a time here coming into this world. And so, you know, there's been a wounding and a, it's been hard to have faith and trust that life can be good because it's always the next problem, always the next thing. However, today there's so many angels right now ministering to everyone who wants this healing and a lot of these patterns are getting healed. And that lack of trust, the wounded children, and in you too, Amy. And that is a really big clearing around this. That's going to be continuing and also available for the replay. So, you know, I just want to say that this healing is in the timeless part of us, in the eternal reality with the divine ones and our divine selves orchestrating. So... You could even replay this and be getting more and more healings and share it with your friends. And so the healing just keeps going exponentially. But there's a lot of healing on the earth right now in this one condition. It's it's uh, heartbreaking almost. My, my heart's really feeling the, the pain, the disappointment, and uh, what so many people have endured. Uh, just to come to this earth and bring your light and and come as a pure, innocent child, and then to get all these overlays. 
So just know a lot's getting lifted right now, a lot of the inner aspects holding that, and negative self-imaging, imaging, and beliefs about life are getting healed. And Amy, um, you're getting a tremendous, a lot's lifted even now. I hope you're feeling that in a moment. As these things are lifted and cleared, everyone should be feeling a new stream of light able to come into your beings. Because I mean, there's a, a beautiful golden white light now being released into the crown chakras down through the crystal cord from everyone's divine selves and the higher realms of light. So as these aspects are healed and lifted and all those rivers of sorrow and darkness and all the corruption and corrupt, a lot of inner corruptions being healed, a lot of uh, souls who have been felt ruined and wrecked and painted and blocked. So much healing is happening right now. And so as those aspects, so once again, the inner aspects are the ones that feel and hold all of that. If you ever feel these things, it's not you. You're too authentic self. And so it's really important for you to embrace those parts of self as if they were a younger brother or sister and that you care about. So, and then bring those parts to a healing. There's no need for any of us anymore to sit and be in that misery and let these parts run us and be all covered over with it and be lost in it. Because now we have the technology and that's been my life's work to figure out a way out. I had to be like a Houdini doing it, but I've extricated myself from the worst things. And seriously, the the life I was born into and the things I've had to endure are just things that people don't ever recover from. And I've been able to restore myself from just the worst of everything, the worst heartbreaks and devastation and incurable illnesses and really false sense of identity and everything. So everything you're all feeling, don't worry, I've probably experienced. And so when I share these things with you, I really share from an authentic place of it's doable. So please trust me and roll up your sleeves and everybody, you know, do the work. Free yourselves and step free to be your full potential selves. And and then you'll give the world the glory of all of your gifts and talents and truly all of us are needed to to help transform this planet and and bring it into the glorious age that is intended for us. Mm, this is so wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you to everybody who has their hands raised and to all the questions that are coming in. We're going to continue to take questions. I'm going to ask one more email right now. We're going to hear about Aurora's package, and then we'll get back to some more questions. This one is coming from AA, and AA says, I have had a violent and abusive childhood. At this point, my body is shutting down and life is so hard. I have tried so hard to heal this through energy work and spirituality. The break within me continues to play out and dominate my life. Yes, I'm seeing it. Um, It's a really big affliction on the earth, and because of it, a lot of people are on drugs, alcohol, medications, because the pain is just so great. Again, I have so much compassion and for the wound itself. Now, to understand it, when you feel like this, it's the inner aspects that are actually feeling like it. So it makes you feel like it's you and you're feeling it and you're, you're wrapped, you're ruined, you're broken, you can't be fixed. So once again, yeah, the energy work is great. And whole pono pono things like that, lifting it off you, putting in a sacred fire. But the, but then you know that deeper piece has to be done, because these parts of self that are wounded, that feel all that, that are accumulating that, that feel totally broken, devastated, that have lost their sense of self, they need our help. They need us to reach down because they're in the darkness, and and to bring them to the light and heal and restore them and. Every aspect I've ever come across has gotten healed and restored. So there's no broken part of you that can that is not healable. There's no broken heart that can't be healed. There's no um, loss of self that cannot be restored. 
it's impossible because the truth of who you are is intact. And right now the divine ones are working with you and just please open your heart for that and everyone else that has just had a similar, because I know a lot of you have, felt really broken and devastated and ruined and wrecked and like you just can't get ahead in life. You can't make it because of all of this. Well, the good news is the divine ones are on it, beautiful angels and divine healing ministry going on right now um, to help lift these conditions. But the the way to completely free yourself and the way I've freed myself because I have felt broken, devastated, ruined, and wrecked uh, from early abuse and all kinds of stuff I've endured. So I understand completely is... uh, getting into the heart of the pain to find those aspects and heal them. That's what's happening for AA and all the other ones today. The uh, There's a big, uh, there's a, a strong identity that you've gained because it's etched in for uh, like a lot of years, like 27 years. There's just been... Um, kind of a reinforcement of this state within you. And I know you've tried to clear it and clear it away, but you haven't worked on the parts of self that have it. That's why. So sometimes you clear the energy and you feel freer, but then you get, it's kind of, it's kind of like a, the crab in the crab pot thing and they draw you, it, you get drawn back into it because all the stuff in your unconscious has not been healed and addressed yet, and they, they need to, it needs to be healed. Well, right now you have, oh, my God, 2,800 aspects. Beautiful child. You were a beautiful child. Mm-hmm. You're amazing soul. You are um, precious beyond belief and never, never, never believe anything less. And that's the same for all of you listening. You bought into the whole movie and that the, the 28 aspects in you are being healed. And that stain upon the soul is getting undone, almost like a whitening thing is coming in and cleansing it. The darkness is being lifted. The darkness and the dark times are behind you. There is a light-filled path ahead of you you can trust in. Though the healing path is important to restore yourself on all levels, mind, body, soul. So the soul work is this deep inner work, and the body needs the nourishment, the brain needs the brain chemistry and healthful foods. We need to be exercising, and we need to have fun and, you know, have adventures and make ourselves happy, do what we love, follow our passions. So, you know, that's why I give Optimum Health Lifestyle Plans to all my clients and students because we need to be balanced and, you know, hit it on all levels. All the stresses and hurt and pain if you've gone through depression, felt suicidal, your brain chemistry needs to be restored immediately. Today we can do it with supplements. And... I help people all the time with it, just pull them right out of these things. So we're in a really, really exciting time, everyone, where everything we need to heal and restore ourselves and get back our true identity is there for us. And I've got a lot of the pieces of this puzzle because, like I said, the way my life was, I had to undo more than, you know, more than you could ever imagine or believe so that, you know, to get back to who I am so I can live in my heart with a heart wide open and trusting and loving. It's a miracle, seriously, <laughs> that I'm like this. And the miracle is all the inner work I've done and I, I, and I continue to do. And, and so I hit it on all levels with the Optimum Health Lifestyle Plan, but also it's important, you know, that we're really addressing these unconscious pieces right now because if we don't heal the inner aspects, Nothing really changes. You can throw all the deep sorrow and the pain and the hatred, the anger into the lake of sacred fire or a white flame, and you will feel relief. But the cause of it and the parts of self 
that have drawn in those experiences to you will keep creating and creating. So we do want to hit it on this level. Today, Air, you are um, you have got a lot of golden light now coming in through your crown and white light and your every atom cell electron is being restored and more is going to happen because everyone's going to get well everyone it is right now. All of you have open your heart and set your intentions and your prayers and signed on for this today. Uh, your souls are all being worked on and there's a lot of emerald light, there's a lot of rose light of love, there's a lot of white light and golden light happening and uh, turquoise, a lot of violet light. Everybody is getting an infusion and I hope all of you can feel it. And AA, yeah, you've got 2,800 restored, healed, making a lot of this past history behind you. The break in your psyche is being restored now and your heart. Your body's getting a lot of healing, so I don't know what happened with your body, but there's just a lot of healing. Your back, your spine, your um, the legs, everything is getting... Um, a lot of healing on every level of your being, physical all the way to the unconscious. So now once again, the integration period is, you know, takes its time for this deep, deep work on these deep, subtle levels of our psyches that is happening today to cycle mentally, emotionally, behaviorally, physically. So be patient, everyone and um, just wait and see how different you feel. But at the same time, Understand it's not a one healing deal. That's why I train people in the life mastery path that as things arise, we want to be healing our next piece. We don't want to dwell forever in hatred, sorrow, heartbreak, frustration, low self-esteem. Why not clear it in the hour that it comes up? It's possible now. And with the seven steps, you can become a master at this. I've mastered it, and the byproduct is living in my authentic self most of the time. So what that translates as is being in my positive, loving, harmonious, proactive self who feels the blessings of life and gets, everyone says I get more miracles than a normal person. Well, it's not because God loves me more. It's because I'm living in the conscious reality that makes the miracles happen, that is the miracle consciousness. So I learned how to do it, and I love that I can share it with all of you today. I'm so glad that I could be here today and pass pass this knowledge to you in these tools. Oh, my goodness. And, and you know, Aurora, this is amazing. Thank you to everybody for your questions. We're going to talk about Aurora's package very quickly. I want to say, but I feel this energy. I feel like I'm totally... Uh, just like the energy is washing through me. And I can just, as Aurora keeps telling everyone, just keep opening and the healing energy is coming to you and all the work that she's doing when speaking to someone or answering an email is, is happening for everyone. And I can just barely talk, you know, <laughs> because the energy is so powerful. I'm like, oh, my gosh. So this is a great... Um, oh, my God, a great gift. It's incredible grace to receive all of this healing right now on the call that's going out to everyone. I'm just almost speechless here. Aurora, could you please tell all of the listeners about this amazing package that you put together for for all the callers tonight and in the replay? Because everyone listening, this is an incredible gift that Aurora has given us with um, the healing that's happening on the call and then a way to continue this through her work. So, Aurora, please share this with everyone. It's, it's so wonderful. Well, I'm excited because I've worked forever on all of this. And to have people now, like yourselves, throughout the planet, availing themselves and being able to receive it, it is the absolute most joyous time of my life. So I, I'm really excited. Also, I want to say to Andrea, you're not the only one. There's so much life flowing right now. I'm just amazed I can even speak myself. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> uh, it's like, uh, you know, and I'm used to it because I'm in a waterfall of light, you know, working with all my clients and students all the time. 
so I'm used to the waterfall of life, but oh my God, this this is amped up royally. <laughs> that, that means there's a lot of you with open hearts, ready to receive, completely uh, in the zone with us, and miracles are taking place. So, yeah, and I want to just publicly thank Awakening Heart Network. They just made the most beautiful page for me with my offerings, and I just got great to... Uh, graphic artists and, and talented people, so it makes everything look so beautiful. And, of course, I've worked really hard to so that everything that's created through my company, EOS, and EOS means Aurora, the New Dawn, the New Horizon, is really dedicated to personal and planetary transformation. And, and so every product that I have in this package is then – just worked on and worked on so that it is carrying the highest vibration, the most beautiful content, colors, imaging. So I hope you guys love it. I just wanted to give as much as I could. And, wow, I'm seeing here it's $452 a step. And I guess um, Awakening Hearts offering the, at 127 So what, you, what you're getting is the exciting... Uh, knowledge and understanding I have about the times we're in and to make sense of it and who we are and the signature of who we are and the 22 master signature qualities of the awakening soul. So that's all in the Earth 2012 to 33 books. And the first one was award-winning out the gate, which was so exciting. That was my first offering to the planet. So you've got four of those books and they're just filled with amazing, beautiful stories as well as content knowledge and really advanced knowledge and actually has quest technology in there. So it has the seven steps written out and all about that and all an understanding of your psyche because I bring the quest as a remedy for humanity and a way out for humanity and a way to free yourself from just about anything under the sun that you're dealing with. What's really exciting as well is um, the Indwelling Spirit book. So you get that as an e-book as well. And that was an amazing release of daily letters from my inner self, my inner divine self. And it happened over two years, and every day this beautiful letter would come forth, and I would cherish and treasure it, and I would print it out on rainbow paper and then place it by my bed and read it at night, and it completely changed my life. Now, this is the first of what will be four books of these letters. And everyone who's been availing themselves of this, just whether they just open the book and just read, you know, or click on and just read one, or they're going, you know, in sequence and the sequence set up, it, it's life transforming because there's just so many alchemical keys in it. And like I said, there's a vibration and an energetic of all of these products because my focus has been to be a vessel of light and healing and link up with the divine realms of light and really let everything be infused with that light. So even just touching that book, you know, or having it by your bed, you're going to get benefit. And I'm excited, too, that you've got the Quest audio CD, that seven-step self-healing process that tells a lot of the info and I think the 10th track is where you can go through the seven steps to be guided by me and just pause as you go so that you can maybe write out in a journaling process so you can do it as an inner process and you can heal whatever issues up and resolve it right within those seven steps right within you know 40 minutes um, one to one hour also in 2001 I was taken to Mount Shasta where I was told that I was being prepared for a divine uh, release, and I didn't know what that would be, a book, music, what, was, what it would be. And for two months straight, I was cocooned in light from my feet to my crown, and I was in retreat and every day looking out at the gorgeous Mount Shasta. And at the six-week point, every night I was like in my beautiful bath, and I had all these pink candles, and I'd be transported up to Mother Mary's uh, beautiful uh, temple, Rose Temple of Divine Love, where I'd be bathing in this rose liquid light while she would tell me about the rose light of love, the healing power of love. 
And after that, it was the two-month point, and seven divine ones stepped forward over the next days, and they gave forth these uh, divine healing transmissions. And, whoa, it was so powerful and transfiguring. Even every time I listen to it, I just feel like the very molecules of my being are being rearranged to the divine perfection. So that that's powerful, seven audios. And then I've got six healing music uh, albums, and those have woven through these amazing sacred songs that came directly from the realms of light and my heart opening up. And there's on that page, uh, these guys included under where it shows those CDs, that an amazing love story and all about these sacred songs and how they came from the heavens and how they are getting to you. So um, that's an exciting thing you can read and and see about partaking of. And then I think, uh, oh, yeah, the Sacred Knowledge Collection. I was commissioned, like I said, in 2012. I was divinely commissioned to go into the future and see what was happening so I could report back to humanity and an experience that would be beyond my conscious awareness and things I write about and what I saw personally so I could have a viewpoint and a vantage point that was beyond all that and be uh, uh, just deliver it, clean and clear. And it did. And so that's the third one. Uh, you get all three, exploring the afterlife, death, dying, and beyond. And, oh, my gosh, that one turned out to be so comforting and amazing. Um, and that was, you know, all three done under hypnosis. So this was like getting that pure information. The second one is a soul's journey, preparation, um, embodiment on earth. It really talks about all of us again that I write about in the Earth 2012 books and what we're about and how we prepare on the other side to come in, choose our families and all that we are preparing for this embodiment because of the amazing time we're in and what the portent for the world is. And then, of course, you have the journey into the future. All of you who are going to avail yourselves of this, I would be so grateful to get your feedback so we can get some testimonies about about these products. And I just you can share them with your friends and family. I, I love just that everyone who they're meant for, that it, it reaches them. Wow. Uh, I, I want to let everyone know this energy on the call is spectacular. It is amazing. I'm listening to Aurora. I'm feeling the energy flow through me, and, I, and I'm saying, my God, you can have this in your home. You can share this <laughs> with your family. You can share this with your community, with your friends. You can gather around, and you can use these amazing tools for transformation because, again, Aurora was shown – I mean, she's she's doing this amazing – process here for us on this planet she's walked through these experiences there's so many experiences that we all come to this planet with and she's walked through a, an incredible amount of them and so having walked through them she's also been given this vision of this highest potential of what this planet is evolving into and so she's put together this amazing um, p p package of tools here to allow us to heal and transform and change not only ourselves, but everyone in our lives and our family. And she's made it incredibly affordable. I mean, $127 is an incredible, incredible gift to us all, considering I know that, I mean, I'm feeling this energy and I can barely stay in my chair. So just the energy <laughs> that's going to be in, her, in the product that she's offering, please, www.awakeningheartnetwork.com forward slash Aurora, A U R. O R A Aurora W W W dot Awakening Heart Network dot com forward slash Aurora A U R O R A. Or you can just go to the replay page or her special package page and you'll see it there. Just click on it and order it. And again, um my goodness, you can use it forever. And and I can see the energy for all the tools that she's allowing, giving in this incredible package, just working in so many different ways. And so 
please. I mean, this is a huge gift. I can't say it enough. I mean, I can feel what it's doing through accessing the energy of the call today. So she's put together this package for everyone, and she took a lot of time and energy and insight because uh, I, I watched the whole process, and she's just so thoughtful about wanting to bring everyone something so special that would allow you to um, change and grow and and reach your highest potential on this planet. So it's an amazing gift. So we're going to talk about, I'm going to, I'm going to give you all the URL a little bit later, but we're going to go back and take some more calls, and we're going to do some more emails, and then we're going to do a process. So, again, this is an amazing package that she's made available to everyone. Please uh, get the package and watch how your life changes. This energy is so high and so amazing. I can feel everyone here. So we're going to go on to the next caller, um, Massachusetts. Hello. Hi. 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 How are you? <laughs> Good. Wow. Uh, I got on the call late, but Wow. Sounds wonderful, heavenly, and I guess I want to ask, like, uh, if you can see the blockage of, like, I, I just, it's so hard for me to feel worthy to be here. No matter what I do, there's something that's, like, not trusting the universe, that I'm not good enough to trust the universe to be here. And I know it's yeah, not right. true, but... Right, right, right. I know, but it feels so true, Deb. Yeah. And because it's right now, to the heart. Yes, because right now you're a three-year-old. Right now, your precious three-year-old that feels that way is mm -hmm. up and speaking through you. So you are in your three-year-old. It's like our conscious selves to tune into different channels, like a radio. And when these aspects come up, that's the channel we're in. And we believe we are that, right? Don't you believe right now you're the one feeling that? But another part of you is going, I know that's not true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, this part got really disappointed and devastated. So, of course, you wouldn't trust the universe. Of course, this part of you feels life is bleak and that she's not of value, you know? Of course, a little child, because a little child has a limited ability in its perception. It doesn't have all the years on earth and all of the wisdom and knowledge that's gained, and so it doesn't have different perspectives. It's just pretty cut and dry. You know, mommy's mad at me, dad is screaming, I am bad. And then it's like... Mm -hmm. Then the person lives out of, I am bad, you know, and we keep trying to overcome, I am bad, but then other people tell us bad things about ourselves, and then it just accumulates to where, you know, we don't want to live out of a sense of we are bad, and but, but it's almost this impossible equation that humanity has forever lived out of, and we haven't been able to escape until now, but I... For me, I just couldn't sit with all this stuff coming up, and so I wrestled with it, and and I found a way out. So right now, we are joyously working with your three-year-old, and I can tell a lot of people's little litter children are going, me too. <laughs> we hurt too. Oh, my God. Everybody, there's like this um, surge of energetic of interastics going, don't forget us, don't forget us. So I guess a lot of you and a lot of us, I include myself because I'm ever, I'm always working on my next pieces. You know, it's kind of a ongoing thing, and so I think we have a lot of inner children right now, similar kind of linking up with yours, and then throughout the earth, I just kind of like this bleakness, this disillusionment. Um, how can we believe, right? Mhm. Yeah. And if we stay in these parts of us, that's our reality. You know, but the thing is about these aspects, they have a very narrow band of reality. So we don't really want to live out of that or be moved by it or make decisions by our inner aspects. The reason being they are colored by their experience and that's all they see. 
So this part of you, that's all she can see. She only sees the dark movie that happened in your life. She's not seeing all the wonderful things that happened and all the people that said, oh, you're so amazing, oh, we love you. She's in that band of, of I'm bad and I'm not loved, I'm not lovable, and I can't trust. Well, a lot of heavy stuff happened to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot of heavy stuff yeah. happened to you. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm so glad that um, to be able to help. Of course, you know, Thank this you. is an ongoing thing. We have to really be on it because, you know, I don't know, a week or two from now, maybe a month, the next piece will come up for you. So I want everybody to understand these pieces must come up for us to actualize our potential. Each aspect that's tainted and stuck at three years old in their wounding or whatever age stage are not operating within our psyche, allowing our full potential because they're not at theirs. So this alchemical magic we can do, uh, which I call sacred alchemy, which is really the essence of the quest, is by healing these baser or younger aspects of self, we're able to transform them into the gold of our true nature. We're able to access the jewels of who we are. And amazing latent qualities, talents, awarenesses, abilities will emerge without us needing to go to training courses or climb Mount Everest. It's a matter of polishing these jewels of ourself that turn into little coals that need to be, you know, brought back to those beautiful little diamonds. So what's happening right now is um, your aspect is saying, I want to believe in myself and I want to know the truth of who I am. I want to see myself clearly. And in seeing myself, I want to have compassion for others and understand my parents were in their limitations and the people that hurt and harmed me, they didn't quite have their full capacity. They weren't doing it out of their higher natures. They were doing it out of their wounded selves and their patterns and programmings and and carried down the generations. And so I want to believe in myself and others. Now I want to trust and have faith, but also be aware and, you know, be wise that when somebody's patterns are playing out, I don't want to be in the line of fire, but at the same time, you know, I want to be able to trust again. And it's, uh, it looks like she's ready to open her heart. And how are you feeling? You ready to open your heart to life? And yes. <laughs> have yes. your heart wide open and and trust because you are wise and you've gained a lot of knowledge and you know if you come across somebody who's you know being unconscious you don't have to stand there and take it you just move like a river around that or if you get hurt you just find that next piece and you heal it and you get back to your authentic self and then you can make wise decisions and have clear boundaries and all that so in essence I'm saying you're safe. <laughs> You're safe with yourself. All of us are safe to have our hearts wide open to life, okay? We still get hurt if they're closed, so we might as well have them open. Seriously, things hurt anyway, so, so you know. Okay, oh, gosh. So Thank you. Can you feel it? Can you feel your yes. heart opening? Almost like yes. a lotus opening. I'm seeing this amazing shift. This part of you has become bright. And she's illuminating, and now she's ready to mature and be at the adult level and operate in your psyche from not only maturity and clear boundaries and clarity, but also her full potential self. And there's, uh, there's even musical, there's all kinds of gifts in her that she brings to your life because she got stunned and get, didn't get to actualize them, you see. So all these stunted parts of us didn't get to actualize. So we didn't get to sing, and we didn't get to bring the book out. We didn't get to, you know, realize our potential. But now we can just by cleaning up our psyche and healing these parts as they come up. And we don't have to go looking for them. You know, life, our soul is on this uh, ever-evolving, accelerating, divine destiny path right now for all of us in humanity. So when you're going to the next level and you're ready to bring out your next piece, those aspects will appear right on time. Someone you love or somebody annoying will trigger them. 
forget that person. Just heal them inside you and use everything to your advancement of your own soul advancement. And then, you know, your experiences with these others will reconfigure accordingly. All right. Thank you. Your aspect is completely transformed. She is ready to live life with joyous wonder, open heart, trusting, and trusting in herself, believing in herself as well. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Can you feel that? (laughs) Can you feel the shift? The good news is the good news is she represents fifty seven other sub aspects. So you have about you have fifty seven that got healed today. And believe me, this is unprecedented Back in the day when I began, it was one one aspect we'd heal in a one to two hour session. So that could be twenty six hundred a day and fifty seven and this is miraculous, but it really speaks to that we're all coming of age and we're able to release a lot more at one time and handle it within our psyches. Nevertheless, when you have a lot of inner aspects healed, your divine self is like the guardian of your consciousness. So the integration period is set for you, so it's not an overload. And so yours is probably a three-week integration, three-week to uh, six weeks on this. Awesome. Thank you. Wow. Awesome. (laughs) Thank you so much. Awesome. You look look very different. You're not three years old anymore. (laughs) I know. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) She was an exhausted three-year-old. Thank you. Thank you so much. Many blessings. My joy. I could do this all day and forever. It's my favorite thing. It could help me. Okay. It's awesome. I mean, I'm amazed. We're going to, um, I want everybody to remember what Aurora said. She's going to be doing a process very, very soon. So make sure you have your intention. A lot of energy is flowing. She, I can barely sit here. Uh, a lot of the energy is flowing, but you want to set your intentions and open your heart and get really clear about where you want to be when she does this process. We're going to take one more question and we'll go into the process. Um, Aurora, I struggle with my sobriety, although I'm very spiritual. Someone once told me I was holding a lot of ancestral energy. I had a difficult relationship with my father. I loved him even though he was constantly harsh. I don't know how to get free. Charles. Charles, thank you. I know so many people across the earth are wrestling with this very thing because these wounded parts of us, they want comfort. So they're either going to go for comfort food or go for the alcohol or whatever the drug is to to get that comfort and that buffer because they're in so much pain. So then it makes it hard when you do get clean and sober because all of a sudden now it's all up and you've got to deal with it. So then most people then go back on everything because they can't handle that and they want to... They want to just have relief. So it's nothing to be ashamed about. It's a natural part of you that has tried to do a remedy, but the remedy is self-destructive because your brain brain chemistry is all messed up from it. And when your brain chemistry is messed up from substances, you will have mental disorders. You will have, you know, depression, get suicidal, you'll be angry, you could be filled with rage. And not only that, you can open up your energy field to the astral plane and and just have even more amplified negativity rather than being open vessel to the realms of light, the higher realms of light where love, light, harmony, peace is flowing through you. You can have all kinds of destructive energies flowing through you, and that's how people on earth can become evil, play out evil. They don't become evil. They just play roles of being evil and angry and mean and abusive. And it sounds like you've suffered a lot of abuse. Um, the cure. The cure you need to hit on every level, and I'm talking to every single person that has had substance abuse issues, mental illness from substance abuse, which, you know, in the future, the mental illness will not be a, will not be the diagnosis. It will be a brain chemistry disorder, basically. And, I've been able to restore people really fast, their brain chemistry, 
and get them out of these deep levels and help them get free of substances. And the formula is this, very quickly. Meanwhile, don't worry, you've got about 11 core aspects being healed and you've got about, well, a lot of sub-aspects getting healed today. There's a, a core aspect really dark, just kind of in darkness and despair and um, he's been really suicidal and depressed. So I don't know how much that's come up in you at times, but it's really nice he's healing today because I think at different times if he surfaced, that was really hard for you. And or that could have just stayed unconscious, but maybe you've just had this um, more depressive, um, not as joyous, passionate life, uh, sense of aliveness in you. So all of this is getting healed in you. So the formula out, everyone, and I'm so excited because, you know, this took me in the field of neuroscience and I was able to develop these really advanced healing protocols to heal and restore people from mental illness, which that was the affliction my mom had starting when I was 19. And it was a, just a horrendous passage for me. And I always wanted to heal her, but she, at the end I was told, you weren't meant to heal me. You were meant to bring all this to humanity. And so first I had to do the unconscious part. So the first part is we really have to heal those unconscious younger aspects of self that are in so much pain. Because if they're not healed, they're going to go, they're going to drive us to cover over the pain and comfort ourselves. Okay? So you're going to end up 300 pounds, you know, eating ice, vats of ice cream and all that, or you're going to you know, wipe out your brain chemistry from drugs and alcohol if these parts are not healed. And it's no sense getting sober and having these parts running because they're just going to pull you back into the whole thing. Or, and um, so you want to heal the inner aspects that are holding all the pain, that are addicted to substances, that are that their way out is to check out and get into oblivion, especially if you've been abused as a child, you like oblivion, you like to be checked out, you like to be in the zone because you were probably uh, got disassociated when you were young to survive the abuse. And if you had physical abuse or even mental abuse or really hard things happening around you in, in your family atmosphere, you will have checked out to deal with it. So then when you get to be a teen or young adult, it's like, whoa, I like checked out. And so, of course, you're going to love pot. You're going to love alcohol. You're going to love that checked out feeling because that was your safety zone. All right? So understanding your psychology, understanding the aspects, understanding what's happening, that whole, that whole strata, that needs to be healed. And so get counseling. You know, do the t seven steps of the quest yourself if you want. Uh, get one of our practitioners to work with you or myself and heal this stuff for the last time. At the same time, when you're ready, make sure you are get clean and sober because that's when your brain chemistry is going to be starting to clear up. But your brain chemistry is going to be a mess, all right? So most people stop the drugs and alcohol and become really depressed and anxious and suicidal. That's because their brain was used to the substances to numb them and, and self-medicate to try to stay in a normal zone of normal kind of okay or checked out okay or whatever that okay feeling. So you're going to need to balance your brain chemistry and you need to be really succinct with it. One product I love for people is Q96. You can look that up on the web. Uh, the guy, his family had all kinds of mental illness going on, everything all the way to schizophrenia and bipolar and violence and depression, anxiety, and he created the formula and healed his whole family and himself, and the people started coming in droves and wanting this. And so it's a brain formula for everything from depression, anxiety, to even the worst things. And if you've done drugs and alcohol, you definitely want that or a similar formula. And then you, you want to get the vitamin D three in you, the fish oils, the B vitamins, a really good advanced um, uh, vitamin mineral supplement. You want to take your power shakes. You want to throw in the maca, the greens plus or green powder, 
and the chia and um, make sure that your diet's very healthy, make sure you're exercising. And so, so now hitting it on all levels, you're going to have a, a good chance, Charles, of emerging out of this and really having a life that's beyond your imagination. Today, the divine ones and your divine self and your own inner healer, an aspect of your divine self, have done a lot of healing for you. They're actually working now on your brain chemistry and helping restore. And there's literally thousands and thousands of people right now that are working on their brain chemistry. And you know what? It's really funny. Every time someone comes to get a soul remedy healing for me, all the divine ones, they're always working on everyone's brain chemistry. So I think all of our brain chemistry has just gotten messed up from being on this, this planet and its immensity, and then all the toxins, electromagnetic fields, and then we like comfort foods, and then we might drink too much. So, you know, everyone could use getting on an optimal health and lifestyle plan and really balancing brain chemistry and and, of course, brain chemistry balancing we rejuvenates and makes our organs and our bodies in optimum health. It keeps our mind feeling positive and clear and us feeling directed. helps us open up our hearts, uh, drop weight so we're, you know, in our optimum weight. So brain chemistry is really, really essential. And I hope, I'm just so grateful I got to download this to all of you today. It's been an area of great joy as I... I've helped people be free of these things. Mm. Thank you so much. And thank you, everyone, for your questions right now. Um, this healing, and I want to say something to everyone who asked a question. You helped all of us on the call, and you helped the whole planet as a whole because Aurora was sending the energy out and working on everyone, and it touched everyone who was listening, not just the person who asked the question. It touched everyone and it went into everyone and it healed everyone. And now she has a very special treat for us. She's going to do enough, she's going to do an activation, a process for all of us. So hang on because it's going to go even higher and the energy is going to get amped up even more. So Aurora, we're turning it over to you. Thank you. My favorite thing is to be a vessel of the divine, and I have worked my whole life since my teens to be a pure vessel and ever refine that and so that it could, you know, the greatest blessing could come to our planet in and through me and we all are vessels of, we can be the vessels of that higher light. That's why it's important to be in our authentic selves because our authentic selves, our true nature is a vessel of light and that means we're like a, a power plant on earth. We're a downloading transformer from the higher realms of light. Whereas when we're in our inner aspects, we're kind of downloading from the astral plane just kind of the, the, the messy stuff. So, you know, it's an art to be a vessel. Today all of us are joining together across the world. It's almost like we're holding hands right now because our prayers and our intentions and our openness to the divine realms is allowing a great healing for ourselves, our family, and all humanity. I'm going to do an invocation, so we're going to center in our hearts for that. I just want to get the time frame from you, Tria, of how like, how many minutes for this? Um, I think you were saying like 12 to 15 minutes. We have about, yeah, definitely 12 to 15 minutes left. Okay, great. I will do my best because, you know, when it's flowing, I'm seeing everything in a living color movie, and I'm the divine. Oh, absolutely. So I'll do my very best to to look at the time. <laughs> no, absolutely, Aurora. We're with you. Right on. Okay, great. All right, so here we go. Beloved Father, Mother, Divine Universal Presence, our inner divine selves and heavenly sponsors, we give grateful thanks for your bountiful blessings, healing, and advancement for our souls, for clearing the way now of all blocks and barriers to us realizing our full potentials aligning with our highest destiny and being our full potential selves in physical embodiment, bringing our precious gifts and offerings to the world. We thank you for the healing now on all levels of our being, going down into those causal levels in the psyche, healing all the inner aspects and all the patterns, beliefs, conditions, 
that have been caused, the cause called records, memories, and effects, past, present, and future of all that no longer serves us. And we thank you that all this can be lifted and healed by divine grace. We thank you for your bountiful and divine blessings for our earth, for our earth mother, for all elemental life, for all the blessed people of this earth, for all of the animals and beings. And we thank you so much for blessing us with that golden age of light being birthed in and through us in this time, the glorious future that we came to help forge and for showing us each one our true identity, our highest purpose, and help us awaken fully to the truth of who we are so we can know it and be anchored in it and live it every day of our lives and have that commeasurement when the inner aspects arise, knowing that is something to heal because we are the truth of who we are. And I thank you. We thank you. That these things are done in accordance with divine will and the highest good of all. Oh, beloved one, I come in the radiant ferment of light, my light-filled body that is a direct mirror reflection of your divine self. I am Mother Mary, one of the divine sponsors of the Temple of Sacred Alchemy and this global healing ministry helping to heal the hearts of this humanity and set the world on a positive course to fulfill a higher destiny. Each time souls as yourself come to this altar, lay upon that altar your intentions, your aspects to be healed, your dilemmas to be cleansed, allows us then to link up your aspects with those of humanity so a greater healing can take place. And so the holy angels have come. And archangels of light and Elohim today to work this mighty work in and through you, our beloved vessel. Not only healing the dark histories in yourselves and your family lines, but lifting the darkness that's been encoded into this humanity that has literally created a virus in the human computer system and thus caused all the calamities you see daily on this earth. The outer reality is a direct reflection, beloved, of the unhealed aspects of humanity. Thus, the alchemical keys we give to the many offerings through this fount of light will help educate you and assist you to come of age to gain that maturity, that discipline and mastery that is called for, for you to fully embody the truth of who you are and fulfill your mission on earth. We read now in the books of life of many of you. We see that those of you tuning in to this call today and those who shall be tuning in and listening to this are those who came from the heavens to help heal this humanity. Legions of you came while we held back in to support from above. Thus, the dual purpose, we engaged in together, a shared destiny in this earth to raise this planetary home out of the vibrations of sorrow, the encoding of suffering that has been here. This is ending now, beloved, in this time. Thus you came and it show, is shown in your book of life. The precepts that you wrote, the divine assistance that you enlisted to help you in this time, to help you wade through the darkness of the earth, to free yourselves of these age-old patterns and emerge glorious and victorious in the light. And by that emergence, 
and many doing this en masse in this collective destiny, raising the very vibration of this planet. And as each inner aspect has been healed, each time you heal your life, each time you empower your higher destiny, you move all of humanity with you. And the very molecules of this existence called Earth are transformed into a more glorious reality and a higher destiny potential. And this is how we are changing the future from within. And all of those who align with us in this time, all of those who are called to this inner work, to this healing and this soul advancement, are helping. Join together with the divine realms and all of us together, birthing a new future in the earth. We understand your consternation, the pain that you have lived in taking on the patterns, and yet this was the grand plan, beloved. Understand this planning planet was hurtling fast towards destruction because the unconsciousness of humanity was reaching peaks, peaks that were creating the outer reality, the destruction and demise, the desecration of hearts the harm to indigenous cultures, children, women. So you see, you were born into the darkness, but you came under a grand plan to take on an increment of it through the family line you would be born into. So the very line you were born into was a purposeful intention that you set forth in your book of life before you came. There was no accident. There is no one who has relegated you to a dark planet to suffer because you are bad. And there is nothing bad and wrong about you. As you awaken to the truth of who you are, and we are assisting you to do just that at inner levels today, because we are clearing the way in your third eyes, activating your pineal gland so that you can be more aware of the truth of who you are, come into that greater awareness beyond the patterns, beyond the overlays, beyond the matrix you have lived in, to the grander self, to see the truth of who you really are. And thus many inner aspects are being healed as they speak and have been ongoing for hours before this call today and shall be continuing and, and exponentially growing as more and more tune into the calls that, and activate more and more of this healing for humanity. Thus you see a great work is being done. Understand that you could have come into embodiment in your enlightened, eternal, immortal selves because each one of you is that. Each one of you is the direct mirror of who I am, the I am that I am in me. You are that. Never be fooled again to believe you are anything lesser, and yet there is much to be cleared still for you to forge that divine identity, to return and restore that divine identity within. That's the grand plan to be born into the lineage that you chose to take on, and thus you've been tossed to and fro in the seas of life undergoing many karmic circumstances, feeling sometimes that you didn't know the way out. Yet you have always found the next step, the next book, the next teacher, the next insight to help guide your way through the maze. And we come with great illumination for your soul, having released so far a feast of light that will help you even accelerate your lives faster and faster, allowing you to retain that self-identity even in the midst of issues arising and help you gain that greatest mastery that is right there for you to attain. Know and understand the glory of your divine self is emerging now. Feel it rising within you. Feel yourself sinking down into the depths of who you truly are in that very relaxed as if you were sitting on a lotus and in the lotus posture 
in all the simplicity and truth of who you are, quiet, refined, and noble. Can you feel it, beloved? Can you feel all the constraints lifting, all the darkness cleansed from your soul, all the inner aspects that have held you back and felt like prisons, and prison sentences of suffering released today. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands healed today by this mighty work because you came forward to be a part of this healing, to offer yourself up as a vessel of it. And you came into this world to be a vessel of a great healing, and you offered yourself up for the family line you were born into. And thus, as you've gone through this rose of darkness, yes, your heart has expanded in the compassion and understanding and caring for the plight of others. And so, each experience, a grand soul learning module perfectly designed for you. Nothing wrong, bad, and you Never ruined, wrecked. For you are intact. You are a divine being having a human experience. You are immortal. And when you leave this world, you will be proud of yourself for the great work you did, for the sacrifices you made to be here at this illustrious time of a grand destiny spawning on earth. And you will have compassion for the aspects of self that fell under the weight. And all, all will have been healed. And you will be free back with us in the realms of light. Be strong. Hold fast to the light and the truth of who you are. And know we are ever here for you, continually blessing, healing, and uplifting, answering every call. And your divine selves are always there, ministering to you with your divine sponsors. You are never alone, no matter how dark it feels. Clear the way now, for we gave you the tools and the alchemical keys and restore yourself and live free. Wow. I just want everyone to stay in this sacred space that has been created so grateful to everyone and to Aurora and to Mother Mary and to all the beings that have been working with Aurora today as she's been creating these miraculous healings, not only for those who asked, but for everyone who came and asked, whether your question was put forth or not. And for those whose questions did not get answered directly, I know that the energy is flowing into your questions and allowing for the highest light, best resolution to happen. So thank you, everyone, for coming on the call. Aurora, thank you so much for being with us today. Uh, Just a miracle you are. And um, we wish everyone the best and and so much love to you all and, and to the planet, just sending love out to you. Thank you so much.